will be discussing about brachial plexus which is an important short note in anatomy so brachial plexus brachial plexus is formed by the anterior primary rami of C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1 spinal nerves. Parts of brachial plexus are consists of root, tongue, divisions, cords and branches. Now we will discuss about the formation of brachial plexus. The roots taking part in brachial plexus are C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. From these roots, the trunks are formed. For example, the upper trunk is formed by the union of C5 and C6 spinal roots. So this is how the upper trunk is formed. The C5 and C6 spinal roots combine to form the upper trunk. Now the C7 spinal root continues as the middle trunk. C8 and T1 joins to form the lower trunk of brachial plexus. Now each trunk di divides into two divisions. Each trunk div divides into an anterior and a posterior division. This is the anterior division of the upper trunk. This is the posterior division of upper trunk. This is the anterior division of middle trunk and this is the posterior division of middle trunk. This is the posterior division of lower trunk. And this is the anterior division of lower trunk. So this is how the divisions are formed. Now about the formation of cords. So the lateral cord of brachial plexus is formed by the combination of anterior division of upper and middle trunk. So anterior division of upper trunk and the anterior division of middle trunk trunk joined to form the lateral cord of brachial plexus. This is the lateral cord of brachial plexus. Now the anterior division of the lower trunk continues as the medial cord of brachial plexus. Now the posterior division of all the trunks, that is the posterior division of the upper trunk, middle trunk and the lower trunk, all this combined to form the posterior cord of brachial plexus. This is the posterior cord of brachial plexus.
hole. Now the branches arise from each of these plexus. So at different regions, the branches arise. Branches may arise from the root of the brachial plexus. It can arise from the trunk of the brachial plexus. It can also arise from the cords of brachial plexus. Now we will discuss about the branches arising from the root of the brachial plexus. Now the branches from the roots. This is a nerve which is arising from all the roots of brachial plexus. This nerve arises from the C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1 roots of the brachial plexus. The name of this nerve is long thoracic nerve. And from the C5, the dorsal scapula now arises. Now let's discuss about the branches which are arising from the trunk of brachial plexus. From the upper trunk, two branches arise. One is the suprascapular nerve This is the nerve to the subclavius Now let's discuss about the branches which are arising from each of these cords. The lateral cord gives out a branch to the lateral lateral root of the median nerve. After that, it is giving branches like lateral pectoral nerve. This is a branch of lateral cord that is a lateral pectoral nerve. And the largest branch of the lateral cord is the muscular cutaneous nerve. So the branches of the lateral cord are the lateral pectoral nerve and the musculocutaneous nerve. It also gives out the lateral root of the median nerve. And the branches which are arising from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus are this one is the axillary nerve. Another branch is upper subscapular nerve. Another branch, thoracodosal nerve. Yet another branch, 
lower subscapular nerve. After giving out these branches, the posterior cord continues as the radial nerve, which is the largest branch of brachial plexus. So radial nerve, which is the largest branch of brachial plexus. Now let's see the branches which are rising from the medial cord. Medial cord. is out medial root of the medial nerve this is the medial root of medial nerve no other branches from the medial cord are this is the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm nether branches Medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. And after this, it continues as the ulnar nerve. So ulnar nerve is a branch of medial cord of brachial plexus. Now we will see about the formation of medial nerve. So the medial nerve is formed from two branches. It receives a lateral root from the lateral cord of brachial plexus and it receives a medial root from the medial cord of brachial plexus. These two roots combine together. to form the medial nerve. Now, if, now we will tell briefly about the formation of brachial plexus. Brachial plexus is formed from the anterior primary rami of C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1 spinal nerves. The parts of brachial plexus are roots formed by C5, C6, C7, C8, T1 spinal nerves consist of trunk that's an upper trunk middle trunk lower trunk consist of divisions each of this trunk division divides into an anterior division and a posterior division now the cords we have three cords, lateral cord, posterior cord, 
and the medial curve. Now the branches from root root gave rise to long thoracic nerve. It gives out a branch to the phrenic nerve also. Thus, a dorsal scapular nerve. Now to longest colon. Now, branches of trunk that's from the upper trunk suprascapular now and now to subclavius Let's see the branches from lateral cord. Lateral cord gives rise to three branches. That's lateral pectoral nerve, lateral root of median nerve. And the musculocutaneous nerve. Let's see the branches from the posterior cord. Posterior cord gives rise to axillary nerve. Upper subscapular nerve, thoracodosal nerve, lower subscapular nerve, and the main branch is radial nerve, which is the largest branch of brachial plexus. Let's see the branches from the medial curve. Medial curve gave rise to medial cutaneous nerve of arm. Medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. And the main branch is ulnar nerve and the medial root of median nerve. That's all about brachial plexus. Thank you.